Hello lovely butterflies, it's France. Welcome to this journal on Monday, week 140. I'm working in my trusted journal on Monday, Art Journal, and I'm starting with applying some gesso, just using a palette knife and scraping it on the paper. For the second layer, I'm taking out my premium acrylic paint, and as you can see, these are still new and some of them still have to be unsealed. I'm prepping several colors in front of me, lined up on my craft sheet, separating them cold colors and warm colors. And now that my colors are ready, I can start painting and I'm just scraping it on using my palette knife again with just a very thin layer of paint. And the fun part of this is just to keep building on the layers, very thin layers, several colors on top of one another. I had too much of this Thalo turquoise color on my palette knife, so I had to go in with a baby wipe, which is okay because this is giving me a fun reaction with the gesso that I applied as my first layer.
I'm adding some black accents to it and for this I'm going with chalky finish um, to really stay within the matte effect of the paint. Although I really, really like the old wall effect that I have here, I have a hard time to think about how I can keep on working on this. So I decided to push all of that a bit more to the background by applying a layer of white fluid acrylic paint and then to wipe it away using a baby wipe again. All this is dry, now I want to seal it. So this time I'm using a layer of decoupage glue, which will seal the layer from whatever it is I'll put on top of it. And that layer is a layer of one step crackle, which is a crackle medium that I'm applying in a regular layer thick enough for it to move around for the next layer of paint, but not too thick so that it can still move around. And I'm leaving that to air dry because that is how you get the best crackles by leaving your crackle mediums to air dry. Once completely dried, the crackles have appeared and I am enhancing them by applying a layer of black antiquing cream just with my finger so that I can really push the medium um, in the openings. I need to make sure that this layer is completely dry before I can move on to any next step. And my next step is to wipe away the, the excess black antiquing cream so that only the cracks remain completely black. I use this paper to wipe up some leftover paint and I'm using a tag to trace it so that I can cut it out in the shape of a tag.
And now I can start assembling the elements that I picked out for my focal point, which are these tags and of course some cambric. To make my cambric work with the rest of the spread, I'm spraying it with some black dilution spray ink and water. And the water is meant to really blend the color in the fabric. I want to run all of this through my sewing machine, but to do so I have to make sure that everything stays together and that's where double-sided tape comes in very handy. If I would be gluing all of this, my sewing machine might be suffering because I would not have the patience to wait for the glue to dry. To make my blue tag work with the rest of the tags, I decided to remake the little hole so that it fits the other tags. And now I can just stick it in place using some heavy gel medium. And with a little help of one of the heavy stuff that I have on my table, which is one of the jars with paint brushes, so that it's really pushed down to stick to the paper. To finish up my focal point, I took out this home rusted metal washer, which I'm gluing down using heavy gel medium as well. And then I also prepped one of my red little hearts to place inside the washer. And I'm using a fine black pen just to trace some doodling around that blue tag. I picked out two words of my perfect word stamp which together are going to say I'm not enough and I'm stamping it using archival ink directly on the blue little tag. Now this was a risk and I was so focused on that little heart that might be in the way that I stamped my second word upside down. And that's okay, that's how it's going to stay. I'm also doodling around the little date stamp, which is so small that I need some help to keep it in place. And then just using decoupage glue, I can stick it on the page as well. Last minute, I decided to add some white splatters to the page. So I'm covering up my focal element so that I don't add splatters on that as well. And while doing this, I'm also deciding to add some drippage alongside the top and the bottom of the paper. And I'm very sorry that I'm doing this outside um, the camera focus. I didn't realize my camera was um, hanging so low. So I'm not letting the drippage going all the way down. I'm just keeping it at the top and the bottom of the pages. That's about it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
And if you would like a more extended version of this video, I can only invite you to join me on my Patreon page. The link will be in the description of this video. And on my Patreon page, I, uh, I also have um, live hangouts and live journal with me sessions. So it's a much more personal approach. See you here next time for a next journal on Monday. Ta-da!